nothing. <laughs> yeah, we really did a really good educational commentary for you. That's deep. That is deep. I think it's about four feet. So you? My feet. Two of me. <laughs> He went tired, but we will. Alright everybody, this is what we do it for. All that flopping the blazer on its side to go see this lake. It was just a, cliff. It was just a small creek cliff side flip. But the 42s, oh, you guys are all right. I've said it like three times, but so these tires are down in like three pounds right now. Wrinkled like hell. Um, pretty much no air in them. I got five or six wraps, or I think about five wraps of Gorilla Tape on the bead. and I've had zero problems. They're still holding three and a half air. Obviously, I had some problems. I fell off the fucking road. That's not what I mean by no problems. But as far as tire-wise, even stuffed into that ditch, even getting yanked out with a kinetic rope, the tires are still on the bead, and they still have the same pressure I put in them. So for a cheap way to help your tire set on your bead, the freaking the Gorilla Tape on the safety bead, is, it's awesome. I couldn't be happier. Um, also, this is my first time running 17s, so maybe ha that has a part to do with it. And the bald eye rocks, they're narrow, but God, they work. Damn, they work good. So my next set, even though I said I was probably gonna get the 43 TSLs, um, I think some 42 eye rocks on some either Stazworks double bead locks or just some recentered H1 double bead locks is gonna be the route to go. Um, and once I have that, I mean, this thing will go pretty much anywhere. Can't wait. Hope to get some new IROX as soon as I can and those double bead locks because this thing, it's a monster. I'm super happy with it. On its side, still running, going good. And this thing, this thing's an absolute tank. Just keeps on going. It's my buddy Steven. Steven, what do you got in this thing? Money-wise? Nah. Well, just tell us about your Jeep, man. She's got, I haven't had her. she's got 513s locked up on 37s. She has a she's a little, little, little take and give, but she also grabs. So I'll tell you what, she really just goes. She just wants to go. Hell yeah, that's what we like, man. This is what we come up here for, everybody. Go up here where nobody else can go. Go up here where, you know, like, look at this. That's the only bit of the lake left that's not frozen. Uh, the rest of the lake is all snow covered. There's uh, the dam. That's probably why the spillway right there letting water out. But the rest of it's all frozen. But, like, not many people can say that they can come up here. You know, not many people can hop in a rig and, and just go, go here. Look at that. That has to be zoom in a little sorry about that that has to be eight feet of snow on that snow bank right there easy and we're we're up here in these just going nothing stopping us not even flipping the blazer on its side for a little bit uh, just yep he replaced his winch line um, wasn't quite enough to pull us out however with the kinetic rope man Four solid pulls with that kinetic rope. I had to dig out the front end of the blazer both times. But four solid pulls with that kinetic rope and we were out. And that was a pretty hairy situation. So if you guys are thinking about getting a kinetic rope, um, I'm actually sponsored by Yankum. 
So if you want to use discount code Ingrid for any Yankum Ropes product, saves you 10% at checkout. Um, and other than that, man, I mean, go off roading, people. Spend your time, spend your weekends, make memories with your friends, because it's nothing like it. Hell yeah. So I know you guys are probably out here skeptical. It's like, that's, that's not it. That's not five feet of snow. I mean, it's a couple inches of snow, right? But I'll tell you what, I promise you that we're walking on five feet of snow right now. Don't believe me? Check that out. I can't even really walk down to the bathrooms. So much snow on the bathrooms that they're collapsed. So much snow on the bathrooms that if you look level, that's the top of the bathroom door. The eight foot tall bathroom door. So that'll tell you how much snow's here. Every bit of five feet, if not more. I think there's, I think there's close to six or seven here. Kind of, I, you know, I would go in here, but kind of makes me nervous. That's a lot of snow. Look at that. You have to walk down into the bathroom. Look at that. I'm not crazy. That is, I'm like level with the roof right now. I'm standing on the snow and I'm level with the roof. And there's a solid five feet of snow on top of the roof. And it's a seven foot drop down into the bathroom. So, I promise you guys, I'm not crazy. We are up here in over six feet of snow right now. Just wheeling along. And yeah, you know, it's packed. The ground's packed and it's, it's frozen. But still, to have a 7,000 pound vehicle, like the K5 Ingrid, out here on six feet of snow, just going anywhere, going out wherever we wanna go. There's nothing better. This really is just some moments that you'll never, you'll never forget. You'll never forget times like this with friends like these that we have. It's just, it's never ending. And we go up here to get through life because life's kind of hard and you need something to get away. And this is, this is our hobby. This is our escape. Look at that. Two badass rigs looking over a frozen lake. You gonna make it? Yeah, yank them rope. That's what we need right now. Yank them right out of there. Do I need to back up more? If anything breaks, it'll hurt me or Steven, not you. Don't mind me, we're yanking. This guy guy's in my seat. That's rude.
nothing else.